So, uh, talk a few minutes about uh, resources, tools, what I use on the boat on this trip. Um, so, one of the things I did not do is I did not sit back and plan every day what I was going to do, where I was going to go, what the tides were, because if the weather comes in, it's going to change all that, right? So, um, I have a high level, a high level itinerary. Other than that, I just figure it out day to day. And what I mean by that is, is I look at look at the pressure. I bought a barometer for the boat. That's been really useful um, to keep track of uh, the, the changing weather, right? Uh, obviously, uh, high pressure is, is more preferable than low. Um, so look at that. I, um, I use Windy. Of course, Windy needs internet connection um, to function. Um, we've had good cell service and stuff in Petersburg, um, catch can all the big cities. Um, the uh, 5G LTE router setup I have works fantastic. Um, I've had many, many spots where, uh, like, well, we were coming around Cape Caution and I was uh, texting photographs out my window um, to Brian and uh, he knows these waters and he's like, nobody gets cell service there. And I'm like, well, I do. Um, and then I did the same thing again crossing the Dixon, uh, sending pictures of the sea state out there. Um, and I had my, <clears throat> my phone by itself couldn't connect, um, and it was probably only like one or two megabit of throughput, but it was plain enough to, to text and send photographs. So that 42G antenna has really helped me out a lot up here on the LTE side, which is what we use when we're underway. Uh, and I'm using AT&T, which is the preferred carrier all up here through Southeast Alaska, um, which has worked well. So my phone's T-Mobile, and I connect to the boat router, and then it connects to the AT&T SIM card and goes out that way. Um, Starlink, I only use if I'm at a dock. Um, Know, for basically working from the boat, or uh, if we're going to upload videos to our YouTube channel, um, I'll use that. Um, the other thing that came in that really surprised me was the inReach. Um, I bought the inReach um, as like a last ditch effort. It had an SOS button on it, and I thought it'd be kind of cool you know, to use it so people could track us and see where we're at. But uh, I ended up upgrading the plan to it for unlimited texting because I can text back and forth on inReach, um, and it's quick and it's reliable. Um, it's 160 characters or less for every text message, but that way uh, I can send you know, messages back home um, to family and friends. Can't do pictures or anything with it, but you can communicate back and forth. And uh, uh, Annie Time's up here. Um, he's down in Ketchikan right now. I'm in Petersburg, and he and I have been talking every day. You know, if he's in town, well, we can use text messaging. If we're underway, then he and I are talking on inReach back and forth, which has been really beneficial. Because he has an inReach too, yeah, so you're is, talking inReach to inReach, not right. cell phone to inReach. Right. Yeah, so inReach, that's a good point, inReach to inReach. Um, we set that up when we were in Fury Cove to make sure we could do that. That way we can stay in contact with each other um, and stuff, which is pretty good. So, um, uh, use radar all the time when I'm running up here. Uh, radar gives me distance to where I'm, uh, where I'm going at. We just uh, went down to Lakanta Glacier, and a lot of the icebergs show up on radar, uh, which is really cool. We got close to the entrance, and it looked like, the, I'm recording the radar, it looked like the ice load was blocking the entire uh, um, entrance up there. Um, so we just hung out around the entrance um, and stuff, and now we're motoring back. And then uh, paying attention to the currents is really important. Um, as well. Um, tides obviously is your height and then your current is the speed of the water and do not assume that high tide or low tide is when slack water is, uh, especially through narrows and stuff, the timing doesn't work that way. Those narrows create like a funnel, you know, so the tide will come in and then it'll back up uh, and then it'll, 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 it'll cause the water to speed up. So um, I'm always flipping back and forth. I want to know where the tide is, if, I'm, if it's an incoming tide or outcoming tide, because that tells me the direction of the water. Um, but then I look at the current for the speed, all right, and there's plenty of current stations and tide stations are not the same. On my phone, I use an app called iTides, A-Y-E-T-I-D-E. It is fantastic. I just log into it and I just say find, you know, station and I do it from the map and it shows me on the map and then I can see the surrounding tide and current stations or I can move the map to where I'm going to go. And then it also it gives me a sine wave of the current and I can, I can walk the sine wave. So rather than a normal current chart that's going to say it's slack at this time and it's you know raging at this time, I want to know where it is in the middle, right? As it as it goes, um, and I tides lets me walk that curve, so I can sit there and say, oh, at 12:30 it's going to be, you know, 0.8 knots, you know, um, kind of stuff, um, which helps me time, you know, like you said, coming out of Petersburg. Petersburg, 
you know, it's three to four to five knots um, running through that marina if you don't pay attention to it. When we came in on Thursday, the uh, current peaked at a, a just over five knots out in front of Petersburg. Um, today, um, the current peaks right at two, right? So it's not nearly as fast today. But it's important to pay attention to that. Um, just make your cruise a little bit more enjoyable. But uh, yeah, InReach is a, is a rock star tool to have on board. A good tool to be able to get to current information all over the area where you're at is a, is a good tool. If you, if you don't have, well, iTides only works on an iPhone, uh, unfortunately, or a tablet. I, uh, um, an iPad doesn't work on Android. An alternative would be to um, go to deepzoom.com. That will do the same thing for you. Um, and you can you can walk the curve on deep zoom and it'll do the sine wave to see where the current's going to be. And deep zoom actually, um, because it's just a web page, it's not an app or anything, it actually gives you all arrows and shows you the direction of the current and then the arrows get bigger as the current's faster and they get smaller arrows as it gets slower. Um, so uh, yeah, always, this water is always in motion, always pay attention to it because you, you're not going to fight it. You got to go, you got to use it to your advantage, um, you know, on there. So. We're almost back into Petersburg for the day, and then uh, we're going to stay here another day or two and then head up to Juneau. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.